they opened it. Look, yeah. Uncle Falco, Falco. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at them all. All right, we made it to the uh, the book sale. The library puts on this fundraiser thing where they sell a bunch of books, uh, and everyone in the whole town comes here. Apparently, we're uh, like one minute late. So these are all the books that I got at the book sale. They're all a dollar each. And I could have spent all day there, but I was already getting too many books. Um, picked up 11. So now I have a huge stack of books to read. I have probably like 10 or so from Joey, and then all those and a couple other ones that I already had. But, I mean, it was just awesome. There were thousands and thousands of books there. And they were all a dollar each for the paperbacks. Um, so, yeah, it was awesome. They also do, later on, <clears throat> I think next weekend, they do a thing where you can just buy, like, a bag for two bucks and fill it with as many books as you can once they are trying to get rid of them all. So, if I'm not doing the isolation project, I will be there just getting way too many books. All right, I'm up here at the tiny house now. I'm gonna work on getting this floor done. Um, now that it's a bit brighter outside, I can show you what I got yesterday. These two boards, there's gonna be one on this end too, that's gonna be the next thing I do. And then one in the, in the middle of each of these to help support weight um but yeah i'm gonna just start start leveling this stuff out and put some boards down all right so these are all the tobacco sticks i cut yesterday i need to go cut some more so it's the next step and then the floor will be done should take me probably an hour or so to cut the rest of these um, it's about like nine more feet of them. I mean, I haven't really counted how many actual tobacco sticks there are, but there's quite a few. But I think it looks really cool. All right, I haven't vlogged in a while. I've just been uh, working here at the tiny house, but I got the floor completely done. Built my bed, set up all my stuff. Um, I don't. I'm not too sure about this part yet. These are just some scraps of the tobacco sticks that I had to fill that crack. But I think it looks pretty cool. Um, now I'm gonna go get some wood cleaner, and I don't think I need anything else right now. Since it, I've been delayed, I've been eating the food that I bought for the isolation project, so I'm going to have to do more grocery shopping eventually. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Um, I might start the project on Monday, and then yeah, I'll be able to do it for not quite 30 days, but probably four weeks. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I just have to stop by like May 24th or May 25th. But... Yeah, so I just need to go get some some wood cleaner to clean that stuff off. And then I can put my bed together, or uh, put the um, memory foam and stuff back on it. My car is just like full of all the stuff that's been in that house, so I need to clean out my car and stuff again. But that is the plan. I bought some uh, wood cleaner and a couple other things, some toothpaste, some dish soap for when I'm up here cleaning my dishes, and a little camping spork thing so I don't have too many dishes. And uh, now I'm going to clean this floor off. It's uh, mostly dried out now. Some of them are a little wet. I think they're all made, I think some of them are made out of different woods, so they're 
they have somewhat different properties and colors and stuff but yeah it's pretty much done I think it looks really cool I'm excited for it Got my room pretty much all set up again. Got the uh, new generator. Actually, this is the old one. They just fixed it. Um, still haven't sent back the other one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Because they didn't really ask for it back. But, yeah, I got this set up so I can charge my phone and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't break again. Uh, got this full of all my books. Most of them. Still have some back down at the house. I've got this one with my food, so no mice can get it. Got this with just some random stuff in it. Got some new artwork up, some some dry bones, recycled material, and then uh, this that I got for Christmas a couple of years ago. Little Emma Watson sign poster. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do in the house today, I think, but I'm pretty sure it is a good day to plant root vegetables, so I might do that, clean up the garden, and start that up. So as a preface, I don't know anything about gardening, um, so don't take any of this as advice or anything like that, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. Um, so I just cleaned out and like weeded this section you can see how how different it is from this one um, we basically brought up really good soil and then didn't do anything with it for like two weeks so it had a ton of weeds and I just had to get a bunch of sticks and stuff out but that's all ready to go and now I'm gonna plant some potatoes and onions I'm following this calendar this year with my gardening called the biodynamic calendar. I don't know anything about it, so like look it up if you're interested, but it's basically like astrology for plants. It's really interesting to me. It's how Robert gardens usually and basically the the theory is and this this woman like studied it her entire life. I think she died quite a few years ago, but um, basically the idea is depending on where the sun and the moon are in the star sign cycle, basically, like the zodiac sign, um, it affects seeds and plants and stuff differently. So there's days that are better for planting certain types of plants. And today and tomorrow are good for root plants or just for, for growing roots um, so I'm going to start with potatoes and onions and plant some of them not all of them but some so these are my potatoes I didn't keep them sorted so I don't know which ones are which but there's three different types um, let me try to get some light on the situation here um, so basically these potatoes like I said, I don't really know anything. Um, the potato acts as basically the food for the growing plant. And these are the uh, roots that are going to grow off. You can s maybe see there's like some other ones that are starting. They're called the eyes, I believe. This one is kind of easier to see. So there's one there, one there, one there. And generally what people will do is cut these up. You could just put a whole one in there and it'll give you one potato plant or whatever. Or you can cut it up into sections that have 
however many eyes you want, but generally like two or three, that gives you a pretty good chance of it um, making a potato. So I'm gonna cut up a couple of these into sections and get to planting. All right, so I drop them, but I cut a few. Um, uh, nope, no way I'm gonna be able to grab them all. Um, so now I'm going to plant them. It's getting pretty dark, so I don't think I'll be able to film very much. But basically, um, they can be within about a foot of each other, I believe. I think they should be spaced about a foot. So I'm going to plant this section, this first section that I made with some of these potatoes. This will be like my potato section, and then I'll do like an onion section, and then uh, down there in the part that I haven't um, fixed up yet will be other stuff. It's getting really dark now and I already don't know what I'm doing so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to do the onions and maybe more potatoes. Um, yeah like I said tomorrow's a good day biodynamically to do them as well and I'm just gonna ask for Robert's help because he's like an expert gardener so that's all I'm going to do for tonight. I think I will just call the vlog here so I can edit and upload it and stuff. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably 8.30 or so. It is 9. So yeah, I'm just going to call the vlog here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.